This is a HeadGum Podcast. Boy, do we have a humdinger for y'all. I hope, I hope everybody's got the prebiotic soda. Yeah. Ready? Because I know I do. Yeah. I got my prebiotic get soda. Digestive system right. Shelly Shell's got her prebiotic right. soda. We yeah. all getting our guts right. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> Carl Tart, man. This I'm not gonna get too into it, but I just want you to know this episode we just watched is the reason why I do this podcast. Yeah. For this reason. I was like, the fact that we even made it this far is like crazy. It's crazy. We got one more left this season. Mm-hmm. And then we go into season four. I can't wait. I almost watched ahead. Like yeah. that's how oh, really that's, that's how, how <laughs> Yeah. Shit. I listen. This was a good one. This is gonna be more of a free flowing because I, I started getting lost in my notes. Like Yeah, it was too up. much. It I was, was like I, so it felt like I was on. I feel like I was watching uh, Avatar. Yeah. Like I was just like, yo, this shit is crazy. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and we knew we had to bring in a heavy hitter for this yes. episode. Oh, oh my gosh. We got him, y'all. The <laughs> most requested guest in Gossip Kings history. Wow. The most salacious. <laughs> Everybody needed to yeah. know what this man had to say about Gossip yeah, Girl. They... Oh my gosh. Comedy Bang Bang himself. <laughs> Mr. Show, the named after him. Yeah. He, he is the show. <laughs> yeah. And Mr. Show. Just shoot me. Jesus you was in Christ. that yeah. one episode, yeah. yeah. And then I hung out uh, at another taping. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you can go over there while we wait for you. There's another one over there. My man. My big brother in Christ, Scotty <laughs> D himself, Scott Ackerman. Woo! What's up, Kings? Hey. Yeah. What's good, Where's Scott? Where's your crowns, Kings? <laughs> <laughs> Scott, grab a bell. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. Need a bell? Get your bell, bell right because okay. we gonna be ringing them shits today. Yeah. Okay, great. This shit is crazy. We back in the studio after two weeks of of on Zoom. Yeah. Uh, we're back in the studio. It's good to be back. They took the whole studio to New York with them. What's so that we now? Didn't come in. They had a show in New York. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, Catch me up on took the studio to New York, so this building wasn't here. Uh, hmm. But we're back now. Scotty D, thank you yeah. for being here. Hell yeah, I'll do anything for you guys. Look at look at that. Look at that. <laughs> you you ha- you hold such. You're in such a position of power over me. The power <laughs> dynamic. Me. Is, uh, yeah. Is it both of you? Yeah. It's so it's so strong here. Like you could take advantage of me. You could do anything you want to. Oh, uh, we're gonna beat you so. up. No, honestly, <laughs> we. So here's the thing. I'm just gonna be real yeah. with you. Yeah. So we love our, having our friends on the pod. Yeah. Now the fans, they don't like it when we bring people on who don't watch the show. They Uh-oh. hate it because it's like we keep having to explain the shit to them. <laughs> but it's fun for us. Uh, Carl's choking on his prebiotics. <laughs> That's play, why I told you to get on the probiotics. I ain't gonna, nah, they might. They, are they sponsor anything? This group. They did send it to us. So. Oh, okay. Send it okay. prebiotic gods, <laughs> big prebiotic. <laughs> but yeah, I think they. Uh, I don't. I don't know about that stuff. I don't really understand the difference between prebiotic probiotic. What's the difference between that? What is the difference between prebiotic and probiotic, Rochelle? I don't know. Rochelle's in medical school. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, she is. <laughs> she, she's in medical high school. <laughs> like, why you got a different board? Is that different? Oh, is like it look like different? Oh, yeah, we got a, we got a big boy. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah, nice tech. Finally got a big boy. I was in New York once. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the HeadGum Studio, Scott? You like it? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Guess what? Did you see? They got us on they the billboard the out there. We're oh, on the wall. On nice. The wall, finally. finally. Drive by the HeadGum Studios. We're not going to give the address because some of y'all are crazy. <laughs> they was like, but... we'll get you on the wall if you bring Scott in the studio. Yeah. And I said... All right. All right. All right, there. The place does say HeadGum out there, though. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. like, well, you can find can. it. I'm not going to give them the actual address. Cause... Yeah, but you could probably just put in HeadGum into a map, like yeah. Google yeah, Maps or something. Google, was... Can you Google it that way? Yeah, yeah probably. Back when we used to be at the old Earwolf Studios, that wasn't Googleable. No, because there was <laughs> one host who did not want their location to ever be known. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, don't tell them where we at. No. We in head I mean, it's fine. If you want to pull up back and crazy, I got something for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm I, packs, I packs a big mean, big mean metal. Did, did, you, bring, did you bring it today, though? I, I bring it everywhere I go. Man, don't be bringing that shit to the head gum studio. <laughs> <laughs> this is a head gum pistol. <laughs> <laughs> this is a head gum pistol. <laughs> well, let's talk about gun rights real quick. Yeah. Uh, but okay. yeah, no, uh, we're so happy to have you here, man. This shit is crazy. Yeah. So, but don't be, don't be afraid of the, the fans. Just be yourself. Don't, sure. The only thing is, I don't know what you know about the show. 
Like just from okay. the ether, don't spoil. It. He has no, not I watched. Have, I have, I have okay, watched. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Yeah. If you know but anything past this, please don't. Spoil here, it. here's here's what I know. Okay. Here's what I knew about Gossip Girl. I've never watched an don't episode. Say who it is. Who Gossip Girl is? Yeah. No, I won't say. Okay. Um, I know that the person from the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I ain't never seen that movie. Blake. Who the Who's Blake in the Blake Traveling Blake. Pants? Blake Lively was in yeah. that. Mm-hmm. She's, Wait, was in that? she's one of the titular pants. No, sister. <laughs> she's in the sisterhood. Oh, shit. Oh, um, America Ferrera like was in that, too? Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, Amber and uh, one other person. Can't remember. I, I just watched it. I watched it for one of my Did shows. Did you watch it for yeah. your podcast? For Scott Hasn't Seen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That feels like um, a good... And like... it's good. It. Uh, I, I actually really liked it. Um, what was the other movie? Wait, was America Ferrera, did she play like a person who worked in like a sweatshop in that movie? Mm, what movie am no. I thinking about? But she was like with her. Mom. She's like three generations of women in, a, in, a, in like they worked in like a sewing shop. Huh. In downtown LA, it was like it was like with an American know, immigrant, immigrant story. Uh, yeah. Real women have curves. Real women have curves. Oh, yes. never curves. Seen that. Yeah. I love my curvy wife. Yeah. I love my <laughs> movie wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the movie. I love my curvy wife. The movie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Tyler Perry's? I love my curvy wife. <laughs> uh, but so, yeah. so I know I know she's in it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know Leighton Meester is in it. Yes. Yeah. And she's from, um, first of all, I worked with her on a pilot with her and Zac Efron, a Bob Odenkirk pilot back in the day. Oh, you did? She's great, right? Super funny. She, she was really great. And I remember her from writing on the MTV Movie Awards when the intro we wrote for her and Lil Wayne, who were both um, presenting together, was uh-huh. if you put their names together, it sounds like a... Hispanic actor playing Alfred the Butler in Batman. <laughs> Please welcome Meester Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. That was on MTV Awards? That was MTV Awards, yeah. I wonder if I was watching that. That feels um, familiar. Uh, that's so, great. <laughs> so I know those two are in it. I know it's... Oh, the dude from The Boys is in it. The, pl- the guy who oh, plays yeah, the Oh, yeah, yeah. Nate Archibald. Is uh, that his name? His, his real name is... Uh, uh, Chance Chase, uh, Chase, Crawford. Chase Crawford, yeah, Chase yeah. Crawford. He okay. plays in the boys. Yeah, yeah. He's Did he's like basically boys? Aquaman. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, it's great. You like it? You don't like but superhero you, stuff? Yeah, you don't though. like you don't like superhero stuff. You don't like TV in general, Mm-mm. right? Yeah. No. You don't like you anything don't like with, anything with white people. Anything white people. Uh, anything, anything on TV with white people. Get it. Get it out of here. Get it out. Except for this very white show we watch yeah. <laughs> that we force ourselves to watch every week. Yeah, yeah, we love it. We hate it and love it. Oh my I know. I, okay, so I know Kristen Bell does the narration as yes. Gossip Girl. Yes. Um, and I know it's like set in New York, and maybe it's at like a, like a very rich prep school or something. Yeah. The I don't know. If, was at is it? And it, after watching the episode, I still don't know. Is it like an OC, an East Coast OC, where there's a poor person who? Yeah. That's our way into oh, it. That's so funny because the poor person is not poor no more in oh, this part right. of the Who's, season. Who, that's Dan, who is it? the the curly hair guy, uh, Dan, the son, the one that was. I'm trying to figure out what else. It, you could that. describe everything he did in this episode, and I still wouldn't know <laughs> who this is. He's the one who was because the the best way I can describe it is by basically saying the ending, but the one that was in the, okay. that reveal at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it, so he he was poor, and yeah, yeah. He's like your your way into yeah, the character. Like, he, the, the like it's his first day when he when he yeah. goes there, and everyone is rich. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay, and okay. then but he ended started dating uh, Blake Lively, got it, and got then it. shit came up, and okay. came up, came into that money. So and then then I I do know. I don't know the identity of Gossip Girl. I just know a, a fact that people complained about uh, when yeah, it was revealed. Don't even say that. But I won't. I won't even say that. I want to complain about it when it happens. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. I, like Kulop. My wife Kulop would watch it. She really enjoyed it. I sometimes would like pass through yeah. and see like a snatch of dialogue, and so and I knew the concept. So when it was revealed who Gossip Girl was, I was like interested. I was like, I'm never going to watch a show. So I looked it up and I was like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, you don't, don't even know. tell me that. Don't Carl's even tell me you don't know who crazy. it is. I know everybody you know, Scott. No, so no, if it's somebody I, that you don't know. I'm not saying that it's it oh. like it could. Meaning it could be Blake Lively. It could be any Leighton Meester. It could be any of them. <laughs> what are we I'm just saying. Right. Right. Anyway. They said what the character. <laughs> yeah, 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 Who the okay. character was, and I was like, don't even tell I don't know that. who that is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So well, you, okay. Well, you got any spotters? You see anybody yeah. famous? Have you seen anybody? Have you seen anybody famous recently, or have you just seen anything? Weird. I saw. I have. Is anyone a, famous or anything weird? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. what we ask our, our guests. Yeah. So, okay. but it can't be. You know, we, we we usually try to keep it 
Uh, and we should read a user one as well. But I we, got but, one, yeah. Okay. But we also, we, we just keep it like somebody out in the wild. Like not somebody okay. you worked with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we see people wild. at work all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, or I don't. Somebody in the wild or, or anything crazy that you saw. I got a weird one. I don't go too many places, but um, I, I, I do remember, and this was not recent. This is maybe a couple of years ago. I remember coming back home from, I think, the Earwolf Studios trying to make a right turn on Bronson and Franklin and almost hitting a pedestrian and um, then I looked up and it was you. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And, I remember that. And you, gave this. you went, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> the Dikembe. Not gonna hit me. You're not gonna take me out, Scotty D. <laughs> and then I, was, then I, then I uh, was like, oh, I hope Carl wasn't mad. Um, and I don't think you were. But then, no. th- but then I started going like, Oh, I wonder if he knew that was me. And I checked with you, and you were like, yeah, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would have just done that to somebody else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. That's funny. I got, uh, that's a good one. All right, yeah, Carl will be getting spotted. All right, look, here's, yeah. a, um, here's a user spotted. All right, so what's good, Gossip Kings? I got two spotted for you, two. Okay, one recent from 2000. One is recent, one from 2013. Recent spotted Carl and Lamar at the rest of the big team at San Francisco Sketch Fest. Oh, okay. We were just there. That's crazy. That's recent. Yeah, that is recent. That, <laughs> is it really a spotting when like you're booked to be there and they go see you? I don't well, know. You know uh, it's a spotted for them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe they didn't know we were on the big team. Maybe they were oh. like going to see the big team and they were like, those are the guys from Gossip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they just read Big and they thought yeah. they were seeing the Tom Hanks movie. Yeah, yeah. And Fuck is it? <laughs> yeah, like, wait a minute, this ain't about a young boy and his uh, traveling. His I mean, it's boy. about a few young boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a weird. We got wild on that show. <laughs> okay, old spotted the town where I went to college as a theater festival over the summer that draws some pretty big celebrities. Mm. This summer was twenty in twenty thirteen. In our weight room was Bradley Cooper. Walks in, sets up the bench across from me. We exchanged nice head nods, and I pointed out the safety clips for the barbell. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, those are called safety clips? I didn't realize that's what that was called. Uh, which he opted out not to use, and I went back to my workout. And then I also met Justin Long that summer. Wow. Wow. Man, what town is that? I want to go to that town. I know. Justin Justin safety right. clips? Justin Long yeah, popping off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where do they say that at? Those little, do you, you call them that? Did your trainer call them that at the gym? What? Those little things you put on the end of the bar. I mean, when I'm benching my say. 550, yeah. you know, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know what to call it. I just yeah. am like, oh, heavy thing. I don't like using those because you, you have to push them so hard down to get them mm. on the thing, and then it's so it's like almost another workout. Yeah. But then when you twist it, then you got to like, then you lose the, putting the weight up, and then they fall off like this, and you'd be like, ah. I'm nodding like I know what you're talking <laughs> <Yeah>. about. <laughs> <laughs> we use ones that are like buckles, so like they're like they clip on and. Mm. Oh, them. that's yeah. nice and easy. It's yeah, easy. it's easier than the hand. I hate things. those. That's yeah. the old school shit. Yeah, that's the. But uh, old I have to confess that I I did get a bar for because mm-hmm. we have a lot of weights down in our gym, and I got yeah. a, I got a bar. We got I should say uh, got a bar for as a gift. Uh-huh. And I look at it every time I'm down there. I'm like, I wonder how you use that. <laughs> <laughs> so if any of you yeah, guys want to come over. To. Yeah. You look great. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It, you know, I feel like the gym I go to now, it's like a little more like easy to use. It's like everything's like electronic and stuff. Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. But I used to go to one that was like more like pounding the weights. And that's just, just too much, you know. Yeah. That's what I like to do. Yeah. Pound the weights. Yeah. <laughs> it should be, Make it feel it, like a It man. should be easier to get jacked, right? Should be. It should be like pills or something. Well, you you, should, you should also you should be able to do it in two weeks. Yeah, and it should just stay that like that. Yeah, forever. Yeah, and it, then and it then sucks. it would be all right. It's the most discouraging thing about going to the gym, especially like you go every day and nothing changes. Yeah, but the changes are so minuscule. Like they, there are things that are changing. Yeah, but it, you, yeah. you don't see no results. You don't necessarily feel no results until like one day you walk past a mirror and go wait a second wait, hold on yeah, hold oh, you look kind of good yeah. there brother my back yeah no it, I, some ripples I, in it. a year and a half ago i was in like really really good shape and then i broke my my ankle and it just all goes away it's goes unfair away. it's, it's unfair, unfair. Yeah. <laughs> it should, it should, it should if you work out hard enough to get it to be to stay in shape, it should never go away. You it should never go. In. Yes, that's the thing. Yeah, if you like if you set. get down to like Brendan Fraser and George of the Jungle, like six yeah. percent body fat, yeah, it should be like congrats, you yeah. un- you unlocked it. You unlocked it. Yeah, it's you like a video be able game. To go back up to Brendan Fraser and the whale. Yeah, that's so funny. I was just thinking about that that he was in that movie and the whale because I was mm-hmm. watching the whale. Did you see the whale? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you like it? What Do, you what's funny about him being in both of those movies? Uh, uh nothing. 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 <laughs> They're two great movies. Because <laughs> I was at first, I was like, oh, maybe they both have animals in the title, but then I realized, no. I oh, mean, yeah. there are there are animals in the jungle. Well, it was just interesting. Like they, <laughs> I'm not falling for this. Hey, play that music, for sure. <laughs> no, okay, so check it out. Uh, let's get into it. You want to get into well, I got, it? I got to tell you my weird. Oh, spot. you got a weird spot? It. Okay. This morning, this shit was mm-hmm. hilarious. This morning, this I'm driving in Hollywood, headed to headed to my gym, and I'm driving through Hollywood. You look great. And thank you. Mm-hmm. And Hollywood is Hollywood is you know Holly weird. That's what they called it. Yeah. And Weirdo dude, Holly. Weirdo Holly. And this dude's got he got a buggy. And he's throwing out pieces of wood out the bucket. <laughs> he's just throwing them in the street. <laughs> ah, ah, and then, like, <laughs> this dude walks by mm-hmm. and gets hit with one of the pieces of wood. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he goes, oh hey, my, my man. <laughs> and he, like, starts going to the dude. And the dude takes out another pole out the bucket. goes, shh, shh, shh. I'm like, I'm like, my window. I'm like, hey, man, take that L, baby. <laughs> Don't get hit. Like, yeah. you got hit with a piece of wood. Let's keep moving. I, it hit my car, too. Like, it hit right. my, he, yeah. he threw it, like, right as I was driving by. It, like, bumped yeah, my it car. it wasn't personal. It, it seemed like he was just throwing he, wood at He was just, you know, he was in his bag. It was, it was <laughs> early morning. I'm assuming he hadn't had his coffee yet. I feel like they'd be like, we wake up and be like, I'm going to throw some wood at some people today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do today. Where did you doing? find all this wood? And he was just throwing it in the street, taking out the buggy and throwing it in the street. <laughs> and I'm like, oh damn! And I'm like trying to swerve out of yeah. the way. And then if one of them, like the dude was just walking by minding his business, and mm-hmm. one of the pieces of wood, because the dude was just throwing, like, yeah. and he just went boom, and he hit him, and he tried to confront him, and mm-hmm. the dude like was no. about to go off on him. If I wasn't late for the gym, I would have stayed there. And, yeah, Man, sure you yeah. tried to de-escalate the situation. Tried to de-escalate the situation, but I mean, <laughs> my trainer's gonna charge me fifteen dollars yeah. late. <laughs> have you have you noticed over by UCB? I've, this has happened to me twice when I've driven by there. There's there's like a gang of motorcycle riders who just mm-hmm. do wheelies in front of it and make every car like slow to a two mile an hour crawl behind them as they're just yeah. going. I've seen I've them. Seen I I didn't see them at UCB, but I've seen those guys. They're right. like because I feel like it's just one group of guys. Yeah. Because I see I don't see them enough for it to be a lot of people. It's, it's definitely the same one. It's like ten guys. Yeah. It seems yeah. Like. And, and they do, and they and they make traffic just back up because <laughs> yeah. they're just like wee. I don't understand how anyone can do that though. That shit looks so scary. Like yeah. they'll be able w- to like flip like that. And you're yeah. Like, I'm I would like, be like. Do, I'm, I'm dying. To yeah, yeah, like I would fall. Right? Yeah, exactly. And it just seems they seem so like not trained either. I mean, they they, yeah. they seem like they just got on it and did it. But I'm like, this is dangerous. Like, that's, yeah. I could never get down. But you know, well, yeah, you live and you learn. Rochelle bought us all motorcycles, guys. So what? Thank you <laughs> so yeah, much. Yeah, we bought the rockets. Oh, rockets. All Suzuki ninjas. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Uh, you know what I saw on eBay the other day was uh, Eva Longoria's like. Like a, a a unique car that they only made for the Desperate Housewives. The PT Cruiser. No, no, it was a really nice car, mm-hmm. and it like she had signed it and all this kind of stuff, and it was a color they only made for the Desperate Housewives, right? Interesting. And mm-hmm. it's on eBay, and it's like forty five grand. And I'm like, really? That's pretty. See, cheap, that's some bullshit yeah, because that, Scott. they they Scott, had you got to uh, get that. B- uh, Big Lotto. Her panties were on uh, eBay, and they took it off. It wasn't even her panties. Her. It was it was like a pair of sweats. Yeah. Real? I thought yeah. it was her underwear. No, I thought it was her underwear too. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. just a pair of sweats. But the whole no. point they were saying this is a violation of I yeah, guess of their was, hygiene standards. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is crazy. My car didn't go through. I was trying to get them. I heard <laughs> I heard a lotto for the first expensive. time last night. Mm-hmm. A lot of for the first time? Yeah, because I was watching uh, The Bachelor, Monday's episode of The Bachelor, mm-hmm. and she's on it. She is. And I, yeah, and I was like this is a Megan the Stallion ripoff, isn't it? Cuz she even <laughs> went like ah, at the end of it. She did the like ah, she went, uh, that Megan Thee Stallion thing. Yeah, yeah. Which, by the huh. way, did you hear Megan Thee Stallion? She's taking time off to come up with a new sound. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone keeps taking it. But you know, uh, for real quick, before we get into the show, <laughs> is uh, was she a, a contestant? No, no. <laughs> she was judging, and this is the other okay. thing. She was judging the baddest bitch contest, and I was okay. And she kept saying it over and over again. I'm, I'm like, she must have a song called "Baddest Bitch" or something. That she... Um. Does she, Carl? I don't, I don't know. think so. I don't know. I mean, she's like, she's, what's her she's big hit? Bad bitch. Uh, big dick energy. Yeah, big. She does have. A so maybe that matters. was she judging the guys. So someone wrote a song about this thing that I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Crazy. it's so strange. Like, I was very upset the way people were talking about her underwear. Very uh, disrespectful. Very. Disrespectful. I love Big Loud. She's from my hometown. So I like her too. Big I fan. Like her quite a bit. Mm. Um, but um, 
that's at least they got somebody on eBay selling, making money. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, well, they say they're gonna they're gonna sell the panties at her shows now. Oh really? Oh great! Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I'll just great. buy a ticket just, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That way we can get them the we'll normal get, way. Yeah, we'll get them yeah, the normal yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, what do you think, Carl? What do you think of this episode, man? Listen. What episode the, are we doing? I got the bell beside me. You didn't watch it? No, I watched it. <laughs> I didn't watch it. <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> it's fine if you didn't, because it's going to be easier to get through it. Like, what, is ass. Like, what is happening? <laughs> All right, Scott, now that the intro is over, like, you don't have to talk anymore. <laughs> we'll get, Bye, uh, guys. Thanks. <laughs> like, which character is that again? <laughs> yeah. Man, he don't even know who Dan Humphrey is. <laughs> like, We're going to give you a hard time, but it's good. It's all in love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ex-husbands and wives. Uh-huh. Based That's what on the title of... Husbands and Wives, I'm assuming, is a movie. A book? It's, a, it's, a, movie? it's yeah. a Woody Allen movie. A Woody Allen movie called Husbands, husbands and Wives. Husbands. This is back when you could do a tribute to Woody Allen and people would go like, oh, now that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that that great. He's a great filmmaker, great guy. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah man. Uh, this episode, man, we are so close to it. I was like, I was on the edge of my seat. Just yeah, blew, this one had me. Blown away. You this know, when you, good. when you watch it on HBO Max, they don't do a recap. I wonder if they did a recap when it's... Shown on TV. They do a recap. It was in the beginning. Oh, my HBO Max. I just, yeah. just skipped mine. Oh no, I didn't get a recap. You might have picked auto. You still, you still got uh, HBO Go. Or you got HBO Max. You got HBO Go. <laughs> I heard you got HBO Go. You ain't get the Max yet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still a thing? Man, that no. shit gone. Okay. It's, it's HBO Max. HBO Max, right? Yeah. That's the only way to go. You got HBO Signature. <laughs> <laughs> you got home box office. You just got the actual box office at your house. Um, but yeah, no, nah, they think recap for me. Yeah, okay. I see it. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, Maybe so I was happened? not paying attention. Yeah, yeah, you didn't. Need I don't to think so though. I think it just started that. like right in the thing, and I was like, "Who are these people?" Really? <laughs> 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 Why are they? What was your first thought when you uh, when you first saw the first aid? Were you like excited, or were you just like, "Why did I agree to do this?" No, no, <laughs> I'm excited to watch because I because it it is one of those things where cool up liked it and i've heard good things about it and i was mm-hmm. like oh man i'm i am interested in it it's a little weird to to jump in in episode you know 22 yeah, of, yeah. or 21 of season three because uh the, i mean the honestly the first thing i thought was um i think the first half hour of it it's all in it was all shot on uh studio stage sets and mm-hmm. i was like this mm-hmm. is the cheapest looking show i've ever really? seen in my life interesting. yeah it's it's, it's interesting it's, to me it's, yeah, because the first shot I saw was a Prada bag. <laughs> I was like, that's a, that was like, a cost stuff a in it? Yeah. <laughs> I like, no. That was expensive right there. If you watch the OC, the pilot, it's like super expensive, and they shoot it on the beach and in mansions yeah. and all that. Yeah. And then episode two, I think the first scene is like a really cheap-looking fake pool that they've shot indoors trying to make it look like it's outside. <laughs> and it's like, oh, wow, so they don't have any money anymore. And that's yeah. what this reminded me of. I was like... Everything is in a really cheap looking set, but then they they were able to get an actual location more towards the end. They yeah, got the, yeah, they, they got they thought to get down. Always yeah. a big party at the end. Every episode. Like, do you like the OC? You watch that? <laughs> I watched yeah a lot of the OC. Not yeah, all of it, that's, yeah. I, I watched the, that's how I found this show. I, I watched the OC, big fan, and then I just watched Gospel Girl like over the pandemic, and then then he's watching it now. But oh. it, this is new for us, but. The OC, if you you know the OC, you you you're good. You're, yeah, it you're, seems like the same type same of thing show. where yeah. where it's a bunch of snobs and yeah, yeah. and the drama within them. Yeah, I yeah. love it. It's great, salacious. Yeah. Shit. And then also about the parents, which the OC yeah. was about, because you had mm-hmm. Peter Gallagher and yeah, 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 yeah. And this seems like it's about like because there's a lot of soap opera stuff between the parents. This was as a well. big. This whole season was a big parent season. Yeah, Serena's oh, really? dad is just daddy and coming in. It's a lot of daddy stuff happening. Yeah, this but, the daddy um, issue season. Okay, what, start us off, Carl. What we? What, what's I'm the first gonna start thing? us off. With a break. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. And we're back. 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 And we learned that Blair's yeah. never been on a date. Yeah. What a confession. Yeah. And, she, and I'm like, what about... She, and Serena asked the same question I honestly had. Mm-hmm. What, what about Chuck and Nate? And Didn't they bring Chuck up again and Nate again. Huh? But then they brought up like some someone who's pretending to be an Italian prince or something like that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a. What was that all about? So you, we can't go back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right <laughs> now. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't talking about the past. Like this, we talking about right now. Twenty two. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. But yeah uh, she dated. Uh, she dated a dude who was like uh, a prince. He, he was lying, he but was he, lying he was really it. just like okay. a popper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It, was in season, it was in season two. <laughs> uh, so is, she, is Leighton Meester, is she like the good character or the bad character? They're all bad. They're all bad. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's bad. Ain't nobody right. good except for my man, Eric. Yeah, the Eric. Is, man, Eric. And we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about him, too. So okay. Blair, she, she, Serena tells Blair that she thinks Rufus cheated. Rufus is 
Serena's stepfather. Mm-hmm. Yes. Currently, she's trying to get her real father back into the picture. I, I figured out a lot of this probably. It's it's about a 45-minute episode. Mm-hmm. Around minute 40. Yeah. I, I, like, yeah. it all coalesced. I was like, I it think kinda, I yeah, see what's kinda, going like, on. It kind of like all the information just it like was very. Colliding. It was very much like not not for someone who has never seen the show before because it was just like a lot of information was going fast. And I was mm-hmm. trying to put piece yeah. it all together. But I think I got it. I think I got it by the welcome end. Welcome to Gossip Girl, baby. Man, well, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the world. Welcome to Gossip Girl, uh, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, BBC. I was kind of bugged out, though, Carl, because I was like, my man Ruth don't cheat. No. Like, I didn't yeah, think what? he... Yeah, yeah well, this is a, a big guy. surprise. Yeah, yeah, he would never... He's like, when you say when we say everyone's bad, Rufus was the one good guy yeah. in the show. Oh, okay. But he's he's married into this kind of, like... And Kelly thing. Rutherford is, like, a, a bad character, or is they're she... just, you know, bad in the sense that they're rich and right, bad. Right, right, right. But she, I like And so though. she's been sick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's been... Yeah. Uh, Technically sick. Well, we don't know. Who knows okay. what she has had? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. She's supposed uh, to be cancer. But the fact that. And Billy Baldwin. I know. He was, his He's, acting was Billy rough Baldwin today. Has I was come. like, <laughs> Billy sounds just like his brother. How did that happen? How did he get a career? He Who, sounds Billy? just like his brother. He was the. Well, I mean, everyone thought Alec Baldwin was really good looking. And then um, Billy Baldwin came along and people were like, Billy Baldwin's better looking. He's a worse actor, but he's better looking. Mm. And oh, so, yeah, yeah. Because so, he's got the more slim down. Like, yeah, he right. looks like Alec Baldwin did in Beetlejuice, though. Interesting. You so who so? did Alec Baldwin play? Beetlejuice? No, nah, he, <laughs> he played the, the husband. Because <laughs> that's a slam. Played, oh, no. <laughs> no, um, yeah, he was in Sliver with Sharon Stone. That was like a big, sexy part for him. But mm. but his movie career just kind of stalled out. But I don't even know what he did. I mean, he's married to one of the Wilson Phillips. Yeah, yeah, people, yeah. yeah. We were Googling him last time. I was trying to figure out who that was. I was like, that, Billy which Baldwin. Baldwin he was. He's the crazy one, though, right? No, no, no. Steven is the crazy one. Steven is crazy one. Yeah, oh, yeah. But Billy don't Billy's be good. on that anti-vax shit? No, no, no. Billy's cool. Billy's cool. Okay. okay. All right, yeah. Billy. Well, he ain't cool in his show. I'll nah, tell ain't you cool that. in his show. He he's out here. It was crazy. Did you see the hump dinger? The Ivermectin shout out. Yeah, oh, the Iver- yeah. Ivermectin Hell back yeah. in the building. I was like, yo, this is where Trump got that shit from. He was watching <laughs> he this was shit. Watching he was literally watching this That's shit. That's what we should be taking. A horse to wear, man. Yeah, a horse to wear, It works. I've talked to the doctors. Me and Rogers were on it. Uh, <laughs> so... Jenny and Actually, Chuck. Trump sounds like Billy Baldwin in a lot of ways. Does yeah. Billy Baldwin. Yeah. <laughs> Trump. You know they boys. Yeah. You they know, got no, they no, no. Billy Baldwin's cool. Oh, well, I mean, okay. but was Steven they boys is. back in the day? Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember when Trump was cool? When Trump was cool. <laughs> was he Trump cool tied all day every day. <laughs> Bill Gates, Donald Trump. Trump let, let me in, in now. now. Let me there in now. There are so many hip hop songs and. Like there's a song called the by the time called Donald Trump Black Version where they're all singing <laughs> about how they want to be the black version of Donald Trump. Yeah. It's just so like that was it has not the, aged well. One of their new songs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's no, hilarious. Thank you. You don't like that album? I don't. What the time? Yeah, a new time album. Well, this is 1989. Oh, I don't no, know. This is when they they reformed because they broke up. And they had a and song Jimmy, in 1989 called Donald Trump Black Version. But yeah. wasn't 1989 the year of like the Central Park Five? Probably, Maybe. yeah. <laughs> you think they're paying attention to the yeah, Central Park? Yeah, they, they were like, I, I know he's rich. I think it's just like he's just an archetype of rich guy. No, but like I think Nicki Minaj mentions him maybe in yeah. raps, you know, like Two talking about do. it was like Nelly aspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Someone yeah. should like compile like all the rap Trump yeah. lyrics. Is he in Gossip time. Girl? Did he ever do a? I can't say. I'm not oh, gonna okay. say nothing yeah. about it. Okay. But because uh, I don't want to spoil nothing for my man. Okay. But uh, I probably so he's just not. spoiled it by saying that. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll, that's that's something I'll forget. If he pops up, I could I could totally see him popping up. He but, is a uh, big influence on the show, though. Yeah. Like clearly, yeah. like Chuck Bass is to me like Donald Trump Jr. Like, oh, he interesting. Is the Donald Trump Jr. Like what? Who's Chuck Bass? I know who Chuck Bass is, but who's his parents? Uh, his oh. parents. His parents. Well, he ain't. He died, but his dad is was. Trump, was, Trump, was like, was like a, a Trump, Trump guy. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. that's good to know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but uh, okay, let's get let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ivermectin. Jenny, yeah, Ivermectin. <laughs> Jenny is uh, Jenny is talking to Chuck about the pills and the Ivermectin yeah, yeah. and stuff like that, and uh, and this is stuff that Billy Baldwin has prescribed. Yeah, for he Kelly has Rutherford. had her prescribed to it. Yeah. Right, right. Because yeah. he's a doctor. Yeah, he is a doctor. He is a doctor, yeah. but he, was but he care of her. he's like. It's on main right. This cat is yeah. like sneaking in, like mm-hmm. he's trying to move in the house, moving in, the, and like it just don't feel right. And Big Roof is getting gaslighted. Yeah. So Roof right. is the man. That's the best character on the show. Okay. He be cooking bolognese and spaghetti, all types of shit, <laughs> waffles, <laughs> French fries, French toast. This is the best man on the world. Yeah. But now my girl lying on his dick, 
lying on his dick. Yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy. Ruth Bay, my oh queen, my gosh. beautiful black queen. Was that a character that has been in before? The yeah. one, yeah, yeah, a couple no times. No white, okay. like, never thought she would do something like this. Like, right. in fact, I was like rooting for them because I was like, she actually better for him. Right. Yeah, but I was like, why is she lying on? Because he was like, I mean, we could talk about it, but that scene when he comes in. And uh, he comes in the crib, and then uh, uh, Serena's like, what are you doing? Oh, Serena was pissing me off. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, throw her the, off of the Brooklyn Bridge this episode. I, could, I was literally like wanted to like throw my wallet at the TV, which would have just bounced <laughs> off. But still. <laughs> but I'm telling you. So then, um, but it was. You got to get like, some platinum cards. In yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Break the screen. I know. My shit is flimsy. But I was. Uh, so uh, he comes in, and this is when I was like, okay, Ruth is telling the truth. Because I didn't really know. And when he when she was like, well, I ain't gonna say, but you know, Holland was talking that some shit about you that I know, and you want you might as well get up out of here before it goes down. And then when the roof was like, yo, let's get her up here right now, and I was like, oh, he he didn't he cheat. Do nothing. That's when I was like, he because he would yeah. nobody would ever do that. No, if you, no. Like if you cheated, you wouldn't. Was like, there a question in your mind though whether he not, did or not? A little bit, a little because bit, because he, he went into the crib, like he went in the house with her. We yeah. just didn't see. Oh, okay, we didn't yeah. see. He okay. was he was going through a moment where Lily was like gone for a really long time, and he needed somebody to talk to, and his woman was pulling up, and she yeah. she mm-hmm. was talking about like, yeah, my husband's always out of town. She yeah. got in his head. Yeah, and, yeah. He you was kind of like he snuck you know, in. Real big roof wanted some of that chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Like chocolate tea, like chocolate a tea. little <laughs> spaghetti and meatball. I don't know. I gotta get dessert, <laughs> I baby. This is my there. dessert, <laughs> little mocha latte, <laughs> mocha chai, super <laughs> sister queen. Yeah. But yeah, so, um, but that being said, my man is like a one with the morality, a yeah. one. Mm. But I was kind of questioning it. But when she came in like that, man, see. That's how you get fucked up. Yeah. So that was a crazy scene. He had already told. He had already told Lily. He was like, "Yeah, I went up there. Right. Like, oh, I just okay. didn't. Yeah. I, I yeah. didn't do nothing. Right. That's right. why he's but like, look, say what you got to say because Lily already knows. Yeah. And then she was like, "Yeah, we fucked." And I was like, "Whoa, Ooh. hold up. She's just lying. <laughs> Who Ruth Bay? Ruth Bay lying on my man. Does Blake Lively not like Rufus? Or? She did before, but now mm-hmm. she's like really on this kick about getting her dad back in the picture. Yeah. She's like, well, it's yeah. Billy Baldwin. She's blinded yeah. by the blowing yeah. juice. Yeah. I feel like she, the way she be looking at him sometimes, I'm like, you're in love with this man. Like, you yeah. weirdo. She's, she's like, such a fucking weirdo. I fucking hate Oh, man. I hate this woman. I hate the way she disrespects Rufus. Ugh. Even she's if, so nice in the Sisterhood of a Traveling Pants. Yeah, I yeah. ain't seen that movie. I ain't seen it. Uh, she ain't traveled these pants to back to uh, uh, Midtown Manhattan. Uh, yeah, yeah, uptown, downtown, so. Southside, Brooklyn. But yeah, I tell you what, man, I lost I lost a lot of love for Ruth Bay. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you mm. after. Uh, yeah. After oh, she, for Ruth Bay, yeah, not yeah. Ruth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we call Rufus Ruth, Big Ruth Dog. Right. But also Ruth Bay, we call her Ruth Bay because it's. A literal roof where they met. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Ruth it can Bay. be confusing, yeah, but that's Ruth Bay. But she she fucked up this episode. Yeah. You know, we, gonna, we probably going to go a nickname. lot out of order with this shit. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, Jenny is Jenny is uh, grounded, as she always is. Jenny sucks. Um, and she sucked this <laughs> Jenny's episode. Jenny's the blonde too. one, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, the young one. That's Rufus's yeah. daughter. She Got sucks. It. She's been giving him problems since season one. She's, she's a troublemaker. She yeah. doesn't take accountability for anything. Mm-hmm. She's Drug the worst dealer. sixteen-year-old you ever meet in your life. Mm. Uh, she. I don't meet a lot of sixteen-year-olds. I just want to make that. Clear. No, Scott. I know you be <laughs> hanging out with a sixteen-year-old. <laughs> she's gonna be the worst if you meet like. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I have nothing to compare her to. I just want everyone to know. That. <laughs> Listen. So he's like, Rufus. Like we'll, we'll go. She's like, mm-hmm. I can't do my homework because I ain't got my homework. Stop kicking me. Uh, <laughs> Is that the first time I kicked you? Wait a second. Stop kicking me, Scott. I'm trying to talk about the episode. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you want me to kick it? I'm going to ring you. Um, oh, God. Oh, I got prebiotic soda on my sweatshirt. Hmm. Uh, fucking disgusting shit. <laughs> Is it gross? Like It ain't that it bad. Like? It just tastes like the worst Coke you ever had in your life. Uh, it tastes like... Uh, so, so the worst Coke you've ever had in your life is still better than... Yeah, R- Royal Crown Coca-Cola is better than this. I'll tell you that that shit is my... crazy. Like, I, I don't understand the value of it then. Is it just a lot of... your guts right. Mm-hmm. It's your guts right. How are your guts? My guts, are, they feel fine right now. Yeah, they, was, they was tripping when, when I walked in here. Hmm. Uh, but now they good because I drank this terrible oh, Coke. That's what's up. Uh, so but, they go over to uh, Lily's and yeah. then that's when... Uh, Starts tripping. Serena started tripping. Mm-hmm. She started confronting the people. Uh, <clears throat> she, like, 
Rufus is like, hold on, mm -hmm. Serena, what's your problem with me? Because you've been yeah. tripping the past couple days. What's your issue? Yeah, what you yeah. got going on? She's like, well, you cheated on my mom. Yeah. Hey, cheat on your mom? You tripping? What you talking about? Well, Holland gonna tell you. Holland told me. Holland yeah, told yeah. me. Get Holland down here. Call Holland. We calling Holland right now. Right. And then right. of course Serena's like, we don't want to. I don't want to do this, mom. It's like you brought it up. Yeah. So yeah. now you gotta handle it because Rufus ain't out here lying. Holland yeah. comes. Holland says she smashed. We all go crazy. Like. That was nuts. She just lied about that. He was like, man, she's lying. Billy Bowen hit me with the line. He was like, this is too much stress for Lily. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, you ain't no real doctor. Ah, I hate this motherfucker. Lily, you go upstairs. You go upstairs. Go upstairs and, and Rufus is like, man, I'm going to go and talk to my wife. <laughs> like, and are they, are they separated at this point? Like, no. is he not? No, oh, okay. he, he, like, he basically, like, this, this dude just walked up in there. Like, yeah. he really put a wedge between them. Right. And they knew each other back in the day. You know what it reminds me right, of? Yeah. Just real quick. If you, I'm not sure you, how far he got in OC, but you remember when they had the guy. He was like had mental health issues and he was like getting in between Ryan and yeah, Marissa. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is like basically that same storyline. Right, right. He's like somehow t everyone's turned against Rufus. He's like, what are y'all right, talking about? Right, like right. I didn't do anything. I'm making spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, let me break this. Like, yeah, I don't, I ain't cheat on nobody. Yeah. But uh, basically, Billy Ball is just like, get my family back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Snakes. Nate walks in at the end of this mm -hmm. and he goes see Serena. And Serena's tripping, of course. You always tripping on Nate. Why yeah. are you taking Rufus' side? Oh, and I'm not taking Rufus' side. I'm just saying, like, he's a good dude. He wouldn't do that. Yeah, like, and, I don't, you know, I don't understand why you're bugging on him. Yeah. But he was, I think uh, Serena's just lost in this, like, Billy Baldwin madness of dadness. But yeah. I think Nate, Nate is, like, he's not buying it. Like, he's just like, why would I trust this person I don't know? Over Roof. Yeah. Roof took me in. Yeah. He took me yeah. in when I was a little boy. <laughs> yeah. Madness of dadness. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Madness of <laughs> dadness. Madness of dadness. Uh, so Bla uh, Jenny and Chuck go to Blair's because mm -hmm. Blair's very good at sleuthing and coming up with plans. She, mm -hmm. Or at least they say she's very good. Every plan yeah. that she's tried to have over the years <laughs> has gone right. She's not that good. They're like, yeah. we only, there's only one person that can help us now. And it's like Blair. Blair she's like, all she does is just. Like not, she doesn't do anything. Yeah, that sneaky is just like she but just she has ain't backup, got. No... But she has backup plans on backup plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what it is. And she got plan. that date. The date that uh, this is her first date. Her first How date. did she get that date? I don't know. Yeah, was she, that she in she the previous episode or something? Yeah, or? she met she met this guy. She met. Some, a, oh, okay. At a thing, and he plays lacrosse. I guess he plays with Nate or something like that. I don't oh, know. okay. But she's going on a date. She's very excited about this date. But Chuck is trying to get her back because they just broke. Oh, okay. And so Chuck is trying to get her back. He's in love with her. So he's trying to sabotage the French art of sabotage. Yeah, yeah. And so she's like, he put a fatwa on her. So like basically. Nobody, she was trying to get no one, to the city. no one can date Nobody her. could date her, got but it. now she's got this date and she's like, Fatwa is over. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going out with this dude. So Dan and Nate go sleuthing to help Ruth because Dan is his son. He's like, My dad ain't my dad ain't no mm -hmm. cheater. Like, so yeah. now everybody is sleuthing to try to figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah, it's like, Why would this woman lie about this? Yeah, why yeah. would she lie Cause about it? Because it's such a ridiculous story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so everybody, everybody. This, that's just me commenting on the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, it's, it's like, why is this whole thing happening in, in our reality? But like, I don't understand yeah, no, like what. Uh, uh, it is very. I mean, first of all, give a look. I'm gonna give a little respect to Ruth Baker. I mean, she is fine as hell. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It, he could have cheated. Like, like. Yeah, I, I feel mean, like Dan was a little on defense. I feel like Dan was kind of like, I don't know, nigga. Like, yeah. he looked kind of good. Like, he might have did it. But Nate was just like, no way, no how. No way. But because uh, yeah. I think and Dan, I, like Dan, should take lessons from Serena on how to be loyal to your family. I feel like yeah, mm, yeah. He he kind of played his dad this episode. Yeah, we'll get to that. But he kind of played his dad, in my opinion. Oh, mm. big time. Big he, he, I know he was trying to help for most of the time. He's like, my dad wouldn't do this. But also he was like, but well, he might because yeah, people are flawed. Shut up, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. Shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> um, Chuck and Jenny get to the psychiatrist's office. Yeah. That was They found out that they had been the, the, there was a psychiatrist prescribing something to Papa Doc. Yeah. And being like a go-between for the drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's illegal what they're doing because they're changing labels. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so... They find out they're changing labels, and and then they get to the psychiatrist's office that's been doing it. Turns out, Holland it's, Roof Bay is it's, the psychiatrist. It's the psychiatrist. It's nah, that's, that's, that's the house house yeah. yeah. The power of Roof Bay compels you. Yeah. Power of Roof Bay. I tell you what, man, that shit had me on the edge of my motherfucking seat. Yeah, I was like, yo, because I remember when he was talking to the doctor last episode. I was like, yeah. who is he talking to? Yeah, and I was like, damn, that's slick. Yeah. 
Man, mm. fucking uh, so it's all it's been it's been a whole conspiracy since she came into the picture. Probably what seven episodes ago, yeah, seven yeah. Eight episodes ago. And yeah. So she just comes off like this nice shoulder to cry on, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, yo, this whole shit was a setup. It was all a so setup. Now they like we got to get the evidence. Like, yeah, we got to get some. Yeah. Like that's when Blair comes in. We gonna get some blackmail on Ruth Bay. I feel like like uh, I I'm really relating to my mom right now because. I used to go see movies by myself when I was 10 years old and then describe the entire plot. It would, <laughs> it would take longer than the movie itself. Yeah, yeah, and she, would, she would listen along going, uh-huh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. I, feel, I feel like that right now. We're going to be here for an hour and a half. Describing <laughs> this 40 minutes. We're not even show. halfway through it. Yeah, <laughs> we're not even halfway through but we, yeah, I, uh, whole, we ain't even got to the big party at the end yet. Oh, man. I love how they, they did it, though. They were like, oh, we'll get to it. But I, I was <laughs> yeah, like, we'll this, this party... <laughs> It was just like slowly, like this gonna be the party where it goes yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> it did like, you see? Uh -huh. uh, I did you know when mm -hmm. you looked at the at the door mm -hmm. when it said Doctor H. Kibble? Oh yeah, H. that's a clue. Holland, you knew? I I figured I out I right there. No, nah. yeah, really? I looked I at the door because why would you ever put Doctor H. anything? Yeah. You, you would <laughs> yeah. say you, you would put say, the whole name. Yeah, you put the whole name or just Doctor H. Oh, that's H. Holland. Yeah, I was like, that's who that is. That's Ruth Bay because because based on what happened, happened was like this lady's lying about this. And they and Ruth Bay never said what she did for a living or anything like that before this. I'm sure she probably had told him. Right. But she also was like my I, husband. I, like, yeah, I thought she I just was like didn't make the connection there. between like therapy doctor and like because yeah, he was yeah, just prescribing yeah. like medical shit. I yeah. wasn't even thinking like, oh yeah, she right. could do well, that shit too. Well, therapists aren't real doctors. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's I, all pseudoscience. I always call it my doc, my therapist doc, but she can't. She gets mad because uh, technically she, I'm not allowed to call her that. I'm like, come on, doc, tell me what. And she you're went, not allowed to call her that. No, because she's not a doctor. Oh, like you're oh, saying, oh. like she's not a doctor. She didn't go to you can call school. anyone doc, like Bugs Bunny did. <laughs> I mean, that's the way that I was doing <laughs> yeah. it. I was like, what's yeah, up, doc? Doc? Like, doc? Yeah, yeah. doc? It's like I'm not calling you doc. I'm just saying, what's up, doc? <laughs> yeah. And then she was like, stop calling me doc. That's not. That's illegal. And I'm like, all right. Oh wow. Now you have a problem. I mean, it's like I don't know what it is. But now you have a with your therapist it's a where, like, violation. she's yeah yeah there's like a wedge between you two do you yeah, ever talk about that yeah well we have we have big it's like problems. i really want to call you doc and you won't let me we, <laughs> yeah yeah you're well, the source of my issues and then, so i rap about it and then i so in my <laughs> raps i have all these songs where i refer to her but i i say doctor because it sounds better to say you're seeing a doctor instead right. of like a uh, family therapist who has no medical degree <laughs> <laughs> so she played her the song and it was like, ask my doc. <laughs> she don't prescribe me. And then she was like, don't call me that, please. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, all right, doc. All right, I mean, I won't do it again. Well, they can't use your music as evidence in court in the state of California. I know, yeah, there's a big problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to Georgia it, we're gonna... that'll be a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got to stop don't this. Hurt, hurt. Please stop using lyrics in the court case. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That'd be funny if that's what my court case was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have his rap lyric right here is that says he's been calling her doctor. Yeah, she's not allowed to call herself doctor. going to strip her of her therapist license. Yeah. <laughs> but no drugs are being rapped about yeah. at all. Uh, very uh, weak rapper. <laughs> so they all plotting yeah. at, at uh, Chuck's place. Big plot and energy. Jenny is at the house. She's not supposed yeah. to be over there. And she walks in like Serena walks in because she was downstairs. Yeah, she's trying to find the evidence. Get the, she's get trying to the find the evidence. And Serena is, is walking with uh, Papa Doc and she's like really pushing him like you gotta fight for mom fight for mom mm -hmm. Rufus is cheating Rufus you gotta you gotta and even he felt he was like oh slow down a bit like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just here for the fam I'm Billy yeah. Baldwin I, yeah, I'm Billy I don't Baldwin. have to work for it yeah. Serena I love but you but little do we know he's got the whole shit planned yeah. I, oh wait we ain't there yet but whatever we yeah, don't figure yeah, it out it was, but, like, it was interesting though that he in was that even... moment I was like yeah chill out Serena but yeah. then later I'm like Man, he was chill because he had this. It was all he lined was like, up. It's gonna happen. It's really how chill do, how do you guys feel about a white person being named Serena? I I don't think it's right. You think is that a black uh, name? You well, think, no. I, I mean like, Serena. I mean with Serena Williams, it's like a, she. That was the first black Serena I ever. She, but yeah. she owns that name now. Oh, it's like it's like calling a white person Beyonce now. Nah, I don't like, know. You just can't. You like, just can't I feel do like it. Beyonce, Serena Williams, is more like, hey, I'm Serena Williams. Yeah. Beyonce is like, I'm Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. But like, I feel like. I feel like that name is just like a name. I don't if know. I met a white woman named Beyonce, I would, I, like it would feel like I'd take a made picture up to me, it. right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, my Wait, name. Can is, I get a picture with you? Excuse me. Especially yeah. if it was like a forty-year-old woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, so forty years ago, excuse me. So your you parents had the foresight. Beyonce, you double know? parked. You double parked me. Do you mind moving your car? I just gotta get to the dentist's office. Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? 
Uh, my name's Beyonce. Brother. <laughs> I ask everybody their names when I double park. <laughs> um, Beyonce, brother. Beyonce. What are your name? <laughs> Beyonce Schlotsky? Uh, yeah, I was named after my great grandmother, Beyonce, uh, the, Beyonce. the original Beyonce. <laughs> she she can't stand Beyonce, the singer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so no, I, I don't feel weird about it at all. In okay. fact, I, I associate Serena with Serena. More so than more, than, more than, the Gossip Girl more. Wow. More than, okay. Uh, well, what about Venus? Now Venus is Venus. Yeah, Venus. I associate I'm with Venus. Your Venus. I don't think I, I know any. Fire your, your desire. desire. Do, 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 I don't think do, I know do, do, any other Venus. She should do a cover of that song. She's got it. <laughs> <laughs> you think, you think, that'd be funny. And she just points at herself. It's like, I'm, I'm your Venus. Venus. Stop. It's me. Wow. Yeah. That, that's the It'd be a song. number one hit. That's a uh, uh, one of the only songs that's been a number one hit twice. Really. Yeah, because it was a commercial. Well, what? <laughs> no, the uh, the original version in yeah. the '60s or whatever, and then mm-hmm. the oh. Bananarama version in the '80s. Oh, I didn't even know there was an original. Yeah, See? yeah, yeah. Was, me and Scott always talk about music stuff. I didn't know yeah. there was one. In yeah, the yeah, 60s. yeah. I only knew the, the '80s. Oh, one. yeah. You thought it was a number one hit as a commercial. <laughs> well, I thought, you know how when the song pops up in a commercial, people be <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. Well, "This, yeah. this yeah. should yeah. go yeah. on the charts." Bill, it's a Billboard commercial chart. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> it was, meaning it it hit number one. It, no, that's. Yeah. Uh, I mean. Uh, Mariah Carey's has uh, the Christmas song. Yeah, that goes number one like every year. Yeah, and also running up that hill, running up that hill. Although I don't think that went to number one. This it didn't go to number one. I don't think so, but yeah, it it, it went back in the top ten though. Yeah, 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 yeah. That and uh, it's a beautiful morning. morning. Oh, ah. that's a good song. <laughs> that's always in every commercial. Candle movie. in the wind, I think. Is that another one that did it twice? With two different versions? I'm not sure. I don't think it hit number one in the original version. Candle in the Wind. So the Venus song. You know Elton John. I hope you don't mind. No, no, no. no. The, one, the one about Princess Di. I don't know. Goodbye, no. My genius. First it was about Marilyn Monroe, and then it was about Princess oh. And I guess I never knew you at all. Oh, I love that oh, song. Yeah, I used to play yeah, that at yeah. the Wax Museum all used, the time. Oh, yeah. That's right. The, the Wax Museum. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. The, he had his piano and What's everything. What's new with the Wax Museum? You ever go? Uh, I haven't been back in a while. Damn. <laughs> um, Did they have a Gossip Girl? No, they should. Thing? They should they have should. a whole room. Yeah. That would be dope. Yeah, mm-hmm. with this picture. With that mm-hmm. picture. With you guys in it, too, yeah. like because flanking them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey. Wax versions of us. <laughs> <laughs> or the real versions. You guys could just do that eight <laughs> yeah, hours a day. We walk out. out. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> like, Wax museum slash haunted house. We, yeah. that we get maced. We, we did that with the rock. He came through, and he was standing there, and he'd go, ah! <laughs> scare people. It's hilarious. It's a great thing. Uh, yeah, so, okay, let's get to this show. Yeah, <laughs> so Serena catches Jenny going through the pill cabinet. Yeah. And they fight for a while. And uh, Serena, hard, but Serena bro. found, I mean, mm-hmm. uh, Jenny found the evidence. She found a bag that says, for Dr. Vanderwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which very is obvious. crazy. If you're, if you're doing something illegal. Legal, yeah, and yeah. you put the whole name. Yeah. Drugs. Yeah, yeah, drugs. yeah. Illegal Dr. drugs. Dr. Vanderwood. Evidence, possibly. <laughs> Jenny <But yeah. laughs> swipes that. Uh-huh. She takes it. She grabs a dress. Uh, Serena's mad at her because you know Jenny was trying to get at her boyfriend Nate a couple of episodes ago. So they yeah, they beefing right they now. beefing hard. Oh, they they have every right to be beefing, yeah. but also it's like chill the fuck out. Like, I thought it was morally right that they be beefing. Yeah, yeah. I think they need to be at each other's throat. Yeah. But in mm. this situation, Jenny is like, I'm trying to help your family. Yeah, this yeah, is your real. problem. You don't even know your dad. You don't even fucking know. Yeah, you stupid yeah. ass. You know she wasn't gonna believe that. Uh, yeah. So at Blair's house, Jenny arrives and tells them she didn't find anything. This was crazy. This is a humdinger, this... but an evil humdinger. Yeah. Jenny, uh, I just felt like I didn't get it. I didn't understand her motive. I was like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be helping this goon squad, the yeah. goonies. Everybody, um, they, like, they was finna break the case right then and there. Yeah. And Jenny goes, I didn't find anything. But Why maybe not? She, maybe she realized there was another half hour left in the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was like, if I like, we haven't got the show's going to be yet. over, and I don't want that to happen. So now yeah. they at the gala. Yeah. And the plan's about to get fucked up because of Jenny. Mm-hmm. Stupid ass. So Jenny calls the orthopedic surgeon. I don't know what that was all about. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. So basically, so the back. So Blair was like, because Blair's a genius when it comes to scheming. Mm-hmm. So she's like, man, fuck Jenny. We only hear pills. I got a backup. So they gonna call another doctor or association. We gonna bring him down. Mm-hmm. Put the pressure on uh, right. Big Roof. Uh, not Big Roof. Roof, roof Bay. Bay. Roof Bay. And uh, uh, and then Jenny fucked it up again. Like so, she gets she calls the doctor. Like you don't gotta come here. I don't know how she got the doctor's number, but so she's still like yeah, she's, she's again practicing the French art of sabotage. Yeah, yeah. she's sabotaging. and for what we don't know at this point. No, and I think you know it's one thing to be like, all right, I'm not going to help y'all, but yeah. you don't have but to, then go to be out actively of your way. hurting. Yeah, that yeah. was a little too yeah, much out of your way to, to yeah. sabotage the whole plan. So stupid. Yeah. Because they're working so hard. <laughs> like Blair and Chuck were like, they were spinning their wheels over there with Ruth Bay. But none of them are supposed to be there. 
and Serena looks down and sees Jenny, and it's like mm-hmm. they're, they're they're plotting. Yeah, I yeah, know what this I is. Know a plot a mile and away. She, she knew. Yeah, she she's like mm-hmm. she knows the plot because she used to be involved in the plots too. So she knows. She right. sees Jenny. She's not supposed. To, Jenny's not supposed to be seen. Yeah. She sees Jenny. Like it, they know it's a plot going on. So Chuck, Blair and Chuck find Holland, the doctor, and they start like you know dumping on her therapeutically, therapeutically, mm-hmm. therapizing. Ther- yeah, it's fun. It's, it's a fun game because they're like. Faking it, but they really got these real problems. Yeah, they're doing role playing. Yeah. They're doing role essentially, playing. where they're role playing as a couple, even though they used to be a couple. Yeah, yeah. Now they have to role play as a couple. It's a classic comedy conceit of like, <laughs> yeah. you know, oh, we're gonna role play our well old executed. relationship. Yeah. But it's but real it's, problems. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when, when she was like, so some of that stuff when she said he so, he sold me to his uncle. That shit really happened. That was real. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I was wondering. I was like, this is that, real. Like, yeah. you're escalating a little too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, too beyond believability. If this is just a normal isolated comedy bit, it's like, <laughs> right. wait, too yeah, high. Yeah, but like, no, high. this shit really happened. Right. But yeah, uh, but it, I love, you know, I got to give it up for Ruth Bay and that scene, you know, like, you know, being a real true to her therapy, like not walking away from them. Yeah, no. she was like, being she like, did hey, I'll help y'all out. She did, I mean, she did the normal thing of like, hey, call the office, but then she heard out their problems. Yeah, yeah. They're obviously mentally disturbed. She's like, if I leave them, I don't know what. It's gonna happen. Yeah. But uh damn Ruth Bay is fine. <laughs> is this her last episode, I wonder? Yeah, probably. We don't know. We probably. don't know. But uh, uh she said she needs like Rufus walks up. Yeah. He's like, Holland, why would you saying? Why are you lying on my meat like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I know, you know I ain't smash. My meat. You know, I, I only buying lying on my meat is his noodles when I cook these bowling eggs. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But uh it's funny too, because Ruth is kinda on the same side as the Goonies, the crew. But he's more like a grown man about it, where he's like, "Man, I'm about to go kill this motherfucker." Yeah, 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 yeah. And they, they like, "No, don't go over there. We're trying to, we're trying to do a plot." He's like, yeah, "Man, this bitch is lying on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get your ass out of here!" Yeah. Yeah. Move, move. Yeah. I can't believe this shit. She's like, "You need, you need to talk to Doctor Vanderwoods about yeah. this." And he's like, "Oh, I know." So then, oh, yeah, that's a like, is that a humdinger, or we already knew that? Yet? We knew that, but then here's the humdinger okay. too. Jenny goes to the doc mm-hmm. and tips him off. Oh yeah, and says. You need to leave now. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna ring a bell for you. that because that was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And even he was like, "Why are you telling me this?" Yeah, yeah. Because I want my family back. I want to go back to being. Because broke. she basically want. Well, who does she want back? Her dad. Dude, Rufus. Who's her dad? Rufus. Rufus, Rufus. Rufus is her dad. Right. Yeah. Okay. And she don't like and living with Serena. Because because that's that's. Rufus, that's Rufus's daughter from another relationship. Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah, okay. yeah. And now so, he's married to. Yeah, yeah. Lily so she's Lily like, Lily I want, I want Rufus back. Everyone yeah. wants Rufus. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Rufus is the love of the, the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, and but also Jenny is being stupid because yeah. she's like, a couple months ago she was like, I hate Rufus. You know, she's yeah, just she a dumb teenager. She, she's she's a really, really dumb teenager. So she tips him off. I so believe she did that shit. They all they they finally about to call it mm-hmm. out. Next thing you know, we look and we see Serena, Lily, and Papa Doc. Walking out. Yeah, all he's out of here. Like, oh, like he's stressed out. And Dan's like, hmm, this is not, something's afoot. Some, something's afoot <laughs> here. Yeah. So Serena decides, they get back to the house. Serena decides that her and Lily, we go, like, dad's got to get to Miami to go visit a patient. Eric is sitting there reading on his mm-hmm. laptop, on his Dell laptop. That shit was huge. And he's Dude, trying, he's trying to gather the Dell. Huh? He's trying to get, gather the whole family together to like go back to go back to Miami. Yeah. And, he's like, and, we have yeah. to, we have to go right now. I yeah, have a patient yeah, exactly. to exactly. I have a patient to leave now. I know that, that was the scene where I was like, man, stop lying. Like yeah. it was like his act was a little rough right there. Yeah, he yeah. was like, yeah, I just got to get back to this patient. I'm yeah. like, man, first of all, Come Lily, down. I think Lily's got to get a little marked. I'm gonna mark her down on my score later. <laughs> we're gonna score. <laughs> we're, we're scoring some people. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> score. Yeah, we score. <laughs> all right, great. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> As I'm talking, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, this is what we do every week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Even that's happened to me. We were catching up earlier. This is the thing that we're doing. Happened to me on stage, yeah. I believe, with Carl uh, in yeah. Austin, where I like suddenly had the awareness of like, what the hell are we doing right now? <laughs> oh, yeah. we, were, we were an hour into the show. I'm like, this is weird. What's yeah, happening yeah. right now? <laughs> yeah. you started, you, it's like the reality. It starts setting. I'm like, there's like, thousands of people here, thousands. and we have there no idea so what we're doing. It was packed. It was the biggest thing in Austin. It was that shit packed. Is funny. Uh, but, funny. Um, yeah, well, uh, Lily's like, I just like Lily just going along with this way too easily. Like she, I'm yes. like, come on, girl. We do like, have to go. You believe this motherfucker? Yeah. Like he got a yeah. patient right now in Palm Springs or <laughs> whatever the fuck it was, Palm Beach, Florida. We gotta go. To Palm Beach. We gotta go to Palm Beach right now. Do you even do practice that medicine that way? Like like in different what? cities like that? Uh no, I mean in, if you're licensed, yeah. Oh, like you, if you're a doctor in New York, you can go do it. Take care of somebody in L.A. Uh, if you're licensed in both states. Oh, if you got both. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Also, I should mention I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so they're all in the house. Uh, but then Dan calls Serena, right? Is that when Dan calls Yeah, her? so Nate okay. calls. Nate calls twice. She yeah. denies him both times. Right. It's her boyfriend, by the way. Right, right. And she's, she's just like, I don't want to hear she, from yeah, him. she's mad. Because, she's he's, mad. because he's been trying to drag Ruth... Uh, yeah, he's he's been being like, yo, yeah. give him a chance. Like this is yeah, not yeah, what yeah. he does. Yeah. And she's not trying to hear that shit. She don't she's yeah. never trying to hear anything bad about herself or if she's made she, up her she mind. She don't about take no dude. accountability. Yeah. But and she's also like want to see her dad so bad that it's just like the idea that he could leave again is But just don't like, we empathize with her at this point? Like because at this point her she has it's it's gone. It's crossed the Rubicon where mm-hmm. before it was like she believes him, she believes him, and now you realize she only wants to believe him, and she's denying all of reality because yeah. of yeah. because of what I, a little what bit. she wants so much. I, if she wasn't so mean to Rufus in the beginning, yeah. I'd be like, but she just like to me, it's like she you could be. I feel bad for her, but also I'm like, it's at this point, it's kind of obvious. I know, but I, but I, so, I I thought the next part was was really heartbreaking. That though. was set. You talking about after? Yeah, after. yeah. So oh, yeah. When, when she when he's like, okay, we have to go, we have to go. Yeah. And then and then roof dog comes in. Yeah, we here. Okay. We here now. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about. So it. Dan called. Wait, Dan calls and he's like, he tells her the whole thing. He's like, your your dad has like been giving your mom medicine that she don't need. Yeah. She's not sick anymore. She's like, yeah. she, she probably was sick in the I beginning, but like, now she's not I sick. wouldn't want to like I if she was a horse, she'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, That also, just you know, in a few years, we're gonna use that to cure a disease. You don't yeah, know yeah. About. If she was a horse, this could be a miracle cure. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if she was a horse, she'd have no worms. If she was a person with COVID, I have to tell you something. Yeah. If, she, if your mom was a horse, she'd have no, no worms. worms. Yeah. I it's understand. Me. Click. Everybody, they have, if whole, Billy Bob's whole thing was he's from the future. Yeah. He's like, I'm trying to save I'm you from COVID. Ten years, years from now, not, ten years from now, there's gonna be a thing. Hey, everybody's gonna get the shit. This drug. Keeps you from getting it. <laughs> That'd be gonna... so funny to go back in time to save a person with a drug that's wrong. <laughs> you're like, you know you're that just, drug? You're too right wing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go tell everybody. They're gonna try to give you know, y'all. They're gonna try to make y'all get the vaccine. Yeah. You I'm wasted saving. time travel. Yeah. So that way, when you get on TV, and somebody goes, "Are you vaccinated?" You go, "I'm immunized." <laughs> <laughs> like, just trust me. I promise. I'm immunized. Uh, <laughs> he was right. <laughs> I've uh, But yeah. So in this moment, I'm like, yeah, I feel bad for Serena because I'm like, yeah, like essentially, wait, Dan is saying is your dad is like is a complete is a complete evil, evil liar. Yeah, 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 and like yeah. that is hard to take. But also, but, but but the worst is the worst is afterwards. I yeah. think because he goes, Billy Baldwin's like, you think I you think I don't didn't prescribe this correctly? I yeah, have yeah. I have all the files. Yeah, yeah. let me <laughs> let me go get the files, which is just an insane thing for a lying <laughs> yeah, person to do. Yeah. Roof is like I. Well, Kill you! I'm gonna yeah. kill you. But it's but it's it's an insane thing for like a the father of a child to do to yeah. lie like that yeah. and then and then yeah. go I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And yeah. then he just splits. Literally, my, like I'm gonna get sick of that shit. My yeah. briefcase is in, is in the lobby. Is in the lobby <laughs> where everyone keeps yeah. their briefcases. Yeah. It was like Sarita turned into a four year old girl yeah. right there. Like she yeah. was like, oh my god, my dad's abandoned me. Again. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that like. Like I just would love to see the other side of that, where he's like, "I'm out of here," and then he just walks out. He's like, "All right, whew, that was Dude, close." That was close. <laughs> I almost have to own up to that. Yeah. So uh, he, he's just a sociopath, is that yeah, right? Like, yeah, yeah it's like this thing's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I mean, to like for one thing to be like, I love. Okay, let's say for real, I buy that he loves Lily, wants to be a part of life. Right. But like, you a doctor, bro? Like, you gonna poison your wife? Like, even if you think she's gonna be fine, it's like that's a little. Like, well, it's interesting because a sociopath kind of doesn't feel any emotions and doesn't feel like human connections right so what does he actually want because if he yeah. if he's willing to to poison his wife and to, yeah. and to walk out on his daughter on a live like i'm going to get my briefcase yeah he doesn't care about any of them so what right. does he really want he wants control i don't know i don't yeah. know but i mean he's he said he fell in love with lily again so that's what i don't know i don't bad. buy it yeah it's bad all around i don't buy it i think he wants he wants lily but i don't yeah. know why yeah like got, maybe because she's actually it. happy with somebody else maybe. yeah maybe that's what it is the fact like he like he's like, well, at least I know, like, like if if it ain't gonna be with me, like I don't want her with yeah. nobody or something. Yeah, right. but I don't know, like maybe the maybe sociopaths are kind of like, we, I mean, you're a sociopath, Rochelle. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> give um, us the sociopath sort of. Um, but yeah, view maybe he's just this. like, it's just like a thing where it's like in his mind he believes he's doing the right thing. Yeah, and he's just but like, he's <laughs> not in touch with his own emotions to know why yeah. he wants what he wants. Yeah, and, and he just like, wants to control. But when she hits the fan, he's just like, I better get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna get him. I'm just gonna go. 
Pierre shows you a pass, Michelle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. We, I love you. Yeah, shouldn't have blown up your spot like that. Very, I know. Rochelle's very stable. Rochelle cares about all of us too much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are we? Are we done with the episode? <laughs> Not yet. You gotta let me get through it. So. Okay. He leaves. Mm-hmm. All the kids come in. They like I they like Listen. literally like a Scooby Doo yeah. mission. Yeah, yeah. By the way, awesome. are these doors just open all the time? I think yeah. they just have an elevator. And out. Oh, I think okay. it's like a penthouse. Oh yeah, element. they all have the code to it or whatever. Yeah, or they, I guess. Or so usually, they're... isn't it a key where you have to? I don't know. Yeah, man. back then I we think, didn't have think... keys. Have you ever been? Yeah, you ever been in one of these things? Not uh, in New York. I used to go in apartments like that, the doormans and stuff. But yeah. I never so been the to doorman the, would would press the buttons because he has do the that, key. But I never been to the so one maybe where the door opens up to the actual. Oh yeah, apartment. yeah, like that like uh, Bonfire of the Vanity shit. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Ego lived in one of those buildings with like a doorman. Oh really? Back in the day, she don't live there no more. But like, and I would go in that dead doorman. Man, he would not shut up. Oh, I'm trying oh, to yeah. get to my homegirl's apartment. Oh yeah, they don't mind. Yeah, yeah. What you gonna do tonight? You gonna play some cards? Melee. Yeah. Big guy, you play football. Yeah. You see Keenan's doorman character this week. No. It was a lot like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Just a guy who wouldn't shut up about yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so maybe, oh, maybe she wrote it about him. Probably. Yeah. That would be great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so okay. all the kids uh, pull up, Serena still is like, nah, y'all lying. Yeah, yeah. Y'all lying. I like, don't hear it. Shut yeah. up. But this is when I felt bad for Serena here. Yeah. I didn't feel bad yeah. for Because her she's at still all. so in denial about it. Yeah. Because at this yeah. point, it's like, she know. Like she knows it, but she she knows like, in her heart, but she can, she can't face the fact that he he's did downstairs. it to her again. He's downstairs. I'm he's telling you, he's downstairs right he's now. Downstairs. I'm just going downstairs. Yeah. downstairs. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. Then Dan gets down there. <laughs> he go. <laughs> I was like, I was in the bathroom because the way. I mean, I know I'm supposed to go bad, but I was cracking up because she was just sitting down there like this, <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, hey, your daddy lefty, yeah. you stupid motherfucker. Yeah. I can't stand your ass. That's what you get. That's a bad karma. Yeah, yeah crazy ass dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, lot of this man name. You know, I know you know, like, ruin big roof. Man, Look, fuck yeah, man. Nah, I mean, I'm all over the place, but still, like. Big Roof, you don't do my man like no, that. No, All he, he did was no. take care of her. You don't do Big Roof like that. You don't do Big think, Roof you know, like that. I want to no. get a shout one out. you can take away from this guy. You yeah. don't do you Big don't. Roof like no, that. No, Ru- I mean, Billy Baldwin's lucky that Big Roof didn't kill him. And it would have been justifiable homicide. You know, I was homicide. actually hoping for that. I was actually kind of down when we yeah. do the ratings later. We're going to rate that. Yeah. But uh, I was really upset that I didn't see a fight. I thought, yeah. I for yeah. sure thought there would be like a fist fight. Yeah, Roof got Roof had to like call off on him. Yeah, clock I thought he was going to clock him or something. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, rearrange that pretty little Baldwin face. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. He's like, I don't, nobody punches my face. That's not how Not the face, face not the money maker. Contracts. He go, Rufus, he go, I'm sorry, did you say my name? I'm, I guess I'm going to have to slap my name out your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, she was down there looking stupid. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So no, you don't stand for So you just terrible. so you just hate her the entire I se- hate her. I entire never, show. I literally doing this podcast has made me feel this way. I did not hate her that much. Oh, okay. the first time I saw it. But it's so funny because she's so like I say she's likable in the sisterhood, and in <laughs> yeah. other and in other roles. So like it's her. funny like that she's Blade the villain. Lane. Yeah, I know. Um, I would have expected her to be nice in this. Like, well, that's it. We're we're having this debate about it because we can't tell if because we're like thirty five year old black right. men watching this, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> or if like if we were like high school teenagers, if you were teenagers, you'd, you'd we'd relate like to her. her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't tell because it feels like. I mean, you know how writers are like. It feels like the writers know she's stu- like. It's yeah. Well, honest, she did. You know? I I know she never smiled in this episode, which is kind of mm-hmm. like. Oh, okay. Usually, an actor, if they're supposed to be playing a likable character, will at least mm-hmm. smile once or whatever. Right, and she right. was just like mean the entire time. This so maybe is, that's what they're trying to do. This is definitely like peak, like terrible Serena. What we're watching, right? Like I usually go d- walk up and down the street. I'm like, hey, you should smile more. You should smile. <laughs> more. You, sh- you need to be more likable. Yeah, yeah they should, We should do that. The Karen Bash should like hire people to do that throughout the city. So yeah. yeah, smile yeah. officers. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Dan, all men. Yeah. <laughs> so Dan, uh, he, you know, he's feeling it. So Dan. And her, Serena used to date, so he was kind of like there for her in that moment, mm. which was cool. But I don't know how you feel about this. Hated it, mm. but let, here we go. So mm. like, she goes after him. Mm-hmm. She pulls up on him. He's about to get in the helicopter, right? Yeah. This they the way, call the cops. First of all, they she had to stop they... at the house and get a fedora and go, yeah. which was crazy. Yeah. I'm like, why did you stop and get that I hat? To, I got to stop yeah. and get a fedora real quick. I got to go back upstairs. I got to get my fedora. Uh, <laughs> that shit was ridiculous. My, I got to get my sleuthing costumes, you know. Uh, and uh, she, so she, Nate's like, man, we got to call the police. He could be gone right now. Like, yeah. this dude was poisoning you. Right, like, yeah. he got to. We got I was surprised. I was, I was really surprised that the police were so on this because it seems like something they would get to in like four days. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Nate Archibald, but, remember he called. He was like, "Hey, is is 
Oh, his, that's his right. He knows. Is, uh, yeah, yeah. He goes. We met at the whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, but to send two cars? I don't know. It strained my uh, <laughs> a little believability. It was weird. So he didn't even. He just. So that's what it's like being rich. So he just calls the captain. Yeah, he it's like he's not calling nine one one. He calls the captain. And they don't, like, and they don't what? send one car. They send two cars. It was a whole as, bunch. And they were like speeding trying to Very get to him as well. Yeah. yeah, he must. I mean, they probably knew he was about to take off to yeah. uh, Palm Beach, Florida. Where they're going? But yeah. Uh, but you see how Dan was low key, Carl. You see this? How Dan was like, I don't know. Maybe we should wait a bit. See, he's thinking about Serena. Like he want to put Serena. And I'm gonna be real. Like Nate stay putting people in jail. I don't like that shit. <laughs> it's yeah. Nate it's, stay it's, trying to put daddies in jail. He yeah. put his own daddy. They no, put his own daddy shit. in jail. Yeah, he's a snitch. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with you. It is crazy to me that Dan, after everything that happened to his own father in this episode. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Was still like. Nah, but what about Serena's feelings? Man, I don't give a dog fuck all about right, Serena's right. feelings. I understand that. Yeah. But also, I was like, I also get it. I was like, he's thinking like how Scott's saying. He's like, thinking he's the long like, game. He's the only one kind of thinking about how this is affecting her. Yeah, yeah. So I, it just, that's, that's a good quality. Also, you and know, I'm not saying it's right. ACAB, it's like, come on, man. Nah, man, not all of them. <laughs> really? It's a couple good eggs in there. Just, no, no. Oh uh, man. Okay. This dude's got to go to jail, man. He he. What he did to my boy Ruth, what he's doing to uh, yeah, yeah. Lily. I like, just feel like I agree, but it's just like he, I feel like Dan was like, we gonna take just wait a little bit. I just feel like he was so quick. I just don't like it when people be quick to the cops like that. Yeah, like, like, we got to call the cops right now. Yeah. Like, man, let's just, like, that's some, that's Karen minutes. shit, right? Yeah, yeah, there, you know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It was real fast. Trust me, I would never normally be defending that, but I was more like, Dan, that's your dad. Yeah, and yeah. Serena dissed you. Yeah. Like, she dissed you a million <laughs> times over yeah. this shit, and you still taking up for her. Yeah. Like, it's, get it's off her much fucking he, it's nuts, how much he cares. Huh? It's how much he cares about her. Man. Mm -hmm. Have I you you've never him. cared about anyone that much? Never. So, in, like, okay, here's what I'll say. In it's, that it's, moment, have you cared about your career that much? Hell yeah. Okay, My so it's a lot like anything. So if Billy Barwood <laughs> did to me, this to you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd protect Billy Barwood would try to get you uh, kicked out of Hollywood. Uh, you want me to call the cops on him? <laughs> yes. You get him arrested. If Billy Barwood like, tried I mean, to get me kicked out of Hollywood and also is poisoning right. my wife, uh, call the cops on him. Yeah, I bet you would have called the cops on Alec Baldwin at the, in the Rust shoot. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. Roddy would be like, man, let's call the cops right now. I'm like, nah, hold on a second. Let's oh. see what else plays out. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Chuck, uh, Chuck yeah. and Blair have their moment, but I don't yeah. know what it's all about. It's just, you know. They, like, they're just scared. Yeah, they both scared. They, that's all it is. But they, he's, he's never given up. I'm down. Yeah. I'm I'm down to see them together. But Chuck yeah. is Chuck is saying like our role playing. You felt it. Right? You felt yeah, it. That you, was felt, real. you felt that. Shit. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, uh, rugby guy comes, so she goes on her date. Yeah. Uh, Roof and Lily patch things up. Oh wait, real quick. But he gave her the ultimatum. No, he said he. Uh, I forgot what movie. Do you know the movie reference he made about the Empire State Building? Oh, Sleepless in Seattle. Yeah. 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 No, but she said something else. Uh, he's a, he's a, didn't he say something like let's meet up at the yeah at the Empire State. Yeah, That's and she's Seattle, right? she's like don't Sleepless in Seattle me right? Does she? I thought. You know, I thought she said something different because oh. my mind thought with that what it was, but I feel like she did a different reference. Oh, oh no, no, sorry. She, uh, and a fair to remember. Yeah, is that? Yeah. Do they do that too? That's uh, Sleepless in Seattle is based on a fair to remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, they yeah, went old school yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, that that uh, part. I think. I think that part. I think in um, <laughs> that, part, that, that part, part right there. <laughs> I think in Sleepless in Seattle, they yeah. they maybe mention an affair to remember. They uh, talk about it, they, and they go, and that's how they decide on uh, it or something. Blair's, oh, Blair's it's been like a long time since I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, she loved it. Know that then. Yeah, and that's that's usually a fifty year old comedy writer or, or <laughs> drama writer <laughs> like, like imbuing Blair, a young <laughs> yeah, character yeah, with like his yeah, own attributes. No actual like sixteen year old that actually likes this shit that much. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, so she he basically. So he's like, what do you think? You think he's, she's going to do it? Pull up on him? And she looked he, up he gave her the thing. ultimatum, like, look, if you don't come, I'm out of your life forever. Yeah. Man. I think she's, she's going to skip out I'm gonna on I'm going to do that to somebody one day. I'm going to do yeah. that to one of the girls I'm dating yeah. right now. I'm going to say, look. Meet me on it, top of HeadGum. Meet me on top of HeadGum Studios. <laughs> yeah. If you ain't there by 12 a.m., I'm never going to talk to you I'm again. never going to talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Uh, that part. <laughs> he does it. So, Eric, like, Ruth and Lily Patches up. Jenny is like, man, this, this woman been doing all this shit to you. Like, you stupid. Like, let's go back to yeah, our old lives. how do you lives. feel about this? Nah, I think Ruth is like, nah, man, I'm choosing. You, Jenny, yeah, you been man. fucking up, man. You been fucking up. I love how Eric walked up on her buff. Yeah. Like, he bucked up on her. I was going to bail for this. If you don't want to be in this family, if you don't want to be in this family, you can leave. Ain't nobody forcing you to be yeah. here. So she leaves. Eric is the true OG of this whole shit. Yeah. He's been holding it down. He's just like, and he was like, hold up. Is my mom sick? 
a nut. Nah, yeah, yeah he, he, he got because everyone's all up in their drama about yeah. like, oh, Rufus did this, did Rufus do that? Yeah. Who's lying? And he's like, L- just get it down. Yeah, like, yeah. is my mom sick or not? That was, it was the one part that I was like, okay, this guy knows. This yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. that's why he's my he, favorite he's character. He's a favorite. He's Carl's favorite character. Yeah, yeah. him yeah. and Rufus, Rufus are my favorites. Yeah, um, yeah. my uh, favorite character is Blair, the one who likes old Hollywood yeah. because the old right whiter <laughs> made her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Uh, you know, I didn't. I wasn't feeling Jenny in this moment. I just feel like, as a kid, you you don't have no right to talk about what I'm doing. Don't be talking about my relationship. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't because I mean, he don't. She don't know. And they don't. They also don't fight that damn much. Where it's just like so hard on her. It's like Jenny, yeah. you make my life so much harder than Lily. Yeah, like, like Lily is kind of cool, really. She yeah. Just don't, you know, sometimes she don't tell me shit. Sometimes she yeah. hangs out with you her. Know, she Amanda and, Wilson. The girls, Amanda <laughs> Wilson girls don't talk to their boyfriend. What if he was like, if I'd have wrote a scene, I'd be like, look at this house, Jenny. You want me to go back to Brooklyn? Yeah. <laughs> I came up. We, we, Got both. You can go stay there. Go. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Yeah. I'm not leaving Lily. I'm rich. Nah. <laughs> Nate uh, tries. Nate tries to call Serena, and he she finally answers, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, just uh, waited with my dad before the cops came and let him go. Yeah. Since you going to call the cops with my dad, that's why yeah. I don't tell you nothing. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, god, Serena, like, Serena, not taking accountability. Uh, and then she gets back in the limo and looks over. Yeah, here we and go. And goes, Get your bell ready. Who's thanks bell ready? for being here with me. It's motherfucking Dan. Yeah. yeah. The power of Dan. Look, I know you don't like that, but I was fucking with it because you know why? I'm so, so this uh, he's dating this other girl mm. named Vanessa. Yeah, she's she's not around. She was bald headed in the books though. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, bald headed or bell headed? She was bald headed. Oh, bald headed okay. in the books. <laughs> in the gossip so book, she's bald headed. <laughs> she's bald headed in the books. Okay. But you didn't see her. She was in this episode. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sick of that. But if you were to see her, she would have had hair. But yeah, if you would have yeah. read the books, you'd have been bald headed. Yeah, yeah. Just so you. This know. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm ready for this. Honestly, I'm like, I know I don't like Serena, but Serena and Nate, I'm done. I'm just sick of they. I don't like the way she treats Nate. She dog. She don't treat nobody good. You don't treat Dan, Dan good. I know, but at least Dan. Ugh. I feel like Dan is the only one that can handle her. Handle Man. that. Handle that woman. Handle these nuts. <laughs> I'm sick of her. She don't get to. She don't. I get was because I was like. Were you shot, surprised? By that? I was like, no. I was surprised. I was like, I was like no, Dan, no. I screamed. And he, my he was in that look too. This yeah. how I be when I be on dates. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> when you be like, be on Just the side, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, body language. But that, body that's language pure, is that's impure. Pure limo body language. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you were in a limo all the time. Yeah. You, you'd be slumping too. Because yeah. yeah. limo seats are ridiculous. Yeah. It's such a short vehicle. Yeah. yeah. It's short and long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like not long in the right spots. Yeah. Okay. All right, we done. How you, you notice how limos just went out of style? Yeah, it's like, like big SUVs now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know it's why. It's just a, like you get dropped off at like award shows now in a it's suburban. In the, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, ain't no more limos. No, it was such a treat to to rent a limo every time you were nominated for an award. I don't know if you've had this experience. <laughs> I haven't. <but laughs> I have not. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, what do you think happened? You think it was just they were just too big or something? Like, <laughs> when gas prices went up. When, yeah, when, when, when COVID they just hit don't look the, as cool the, either. Like that factory in Taiwan that makes the chips yeah. uh, got backed up. Because <laughs> like Chuck, he's like always in a limo. Like yeah. this guy, like just dr- rides in the limos. I mean, we could try to bring it back. What do you nah, think? Yeah, think well, we, get, we should get one with the jacuzzi in the back. Yeah, in the trunk, jacuzzi. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind getting uh, one in Vegas or something. Like driving around a strip. Yeah, should it, we go to Vegas thing. tonight? Yeah. yeah, let's go tonight. Let's go. Okay. Right. Jenny, we got one more thing. Okay. Jenny yep. pulls up on Nate again. Oh, Nate, yeah, this Nate is just whack. Nate knows right now that like him and Serena are done pretty much. Yeah. Jenny pulls up with a trunk mm-hmm. of shit. Yep. Like mm-hmm. literally being like, I need to move in with you. Yep. And I think they're finally gonna smash. That part. Yeah. That you part. think so? I didn't think so. Yeah. I think, I think Nate was like he was did like this. He did yeah. a little motion like. What if he smashed right there? <laughs> he was like, all right, go in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, sad. Like, uh, and that's the end of the episode. I don't think Nate will ever smash Jenny. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen, but you do know what's gonna happen. I can't remember. I, I <laughs> I'm telling you, like I yeah. like I've had no idea that Holland was helping fucking um, ball Billy Baldwin. Oh, you I didn't had, remember I, that? I, but yeah. I did watch this. I just yeah. just enough. So much had happened since the pandemic. Right. <laughs> well, also you're obsessing over it now. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you're doing like this show about it. it. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. I watched it before, it was literally it was just because wh- I was trapped in a house. Like yeah, that, you're washing washing over you. Yeah. Uh, that part. That part. That part. But uh, what do you think? What do you rate? All right, man. I'm a. I like this episode. Yeah. And the reveal at the end, Dan being the limo. Though I hated that. That's what makes for good television. Yeah. I think this episode was good. I think they're f- finishing the season strong. 
Yeah. And uh, I'm sick of Serena. Uh, she can go to hell. And uh, yeah, I'm almost wasting. I'm gonna give this a left with her dad. And then. I'm gonna give this a four point six five. Ooh, that's good. Out of out of how much? Five. Five. Out of five. Well, so it's five. XO. So we go XOXO. So I give it four point so, six five XOXOs. Yeah. So that's XOXO. XOXO. That's one. XOXO. 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 Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give it a. I loved it, man. I was, you know, especially a day like this where I forgot to watch it, mm -hmm. and I had to drive back home and go watch this shit, which yeah. I was like, man, I hope this shit is good. Yeah. <laughs> I drove all the way back home for this, and it was just so good that I was like, oh, man, this is hot. Like, I'm going to give it a five, yo. Oh, oh it's a five. Oh, oh shit, <laughs> The power. The uh, power of Exos. You bet your belt broke? Uh, <laughs> it can't break yet. We got four more. We got three more seasons. <laughs> all right, it's well, in there somewhere. All right, so you ready? Five XOs. XOXO. 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 And it feel yeah. good. Full five. Damn. What do you think? Je uh, I was probably about to call you Jeff. <laughs> yeah, you can call me Jeff. Jeff Goldblum. What do you think, Jeff, <laughs> think, Jeff? <laughs> think, Jeff Goldblum? Well, um, I was confused as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I give it half an XO. <laughs> Hey, this is a complete waste of time for me. Yeah. And you give it a point I five. Like you guys. Yeah. You give it a point five. So, yeah. Okay. So that's right. XO. XO. All right, cool. <laughs> Woo. Shelly, Shelly, what do you think? Five. Yeah. You five. Five, five right, on so it. All right, we got to ring the bells. Right. I got five, five. on it. <laughs> All right. What, what could they possibly do to top it, though, in the next... I don't episode, think they will. I think. I you think, think it's going to be more like. I think it's going to be like. Like a come down city. episode? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> come down episode. Everybody's yeah. going to be coming down off of a heroin. Uh, uh, also, I got to give a shout out to Beach House playing at the end, which is one of my oh, favorite yeah. bands. So I was like, yeah. yeah, Beach House, let's go. All right. Yeah. XOXO. 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 Feels good. All right, two news stories real quick. Let's get some news in here. This is my favorite part of the show. So we're doing Gossip Girl news? So I'm going to say what's going on. Or just regular news? Regular news. Apparently, what if the news was just me? What if it was just another hour of me recapping the entire episode? So basically, Billy Baldwin was a bad guy. It's just as weird for you guys to just recap news. Real news. All right, so NBA Youngboy is converted to... Uh, right. Mormon. <laughs> NBA Young Boy is a Mormon. Isn't the episode over at this point? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, we gotta, we're we gotta, talking about the news. No, we talk about what's going on in the world. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what people tune in for. <laughs> NBA Young Boy has converted to, <laughs> to the Mormon. Church of Latter day Saints. To, yeah. So who do you think would also convert to Mormonism on our show? Or from our <laughs> oh, guys? I see. Okay. Uh, you see how it's related now? <laughs> I, I thought you were just recapping the news for people like listening to this years later. <laughs> you know, so, I don't know if there's an earthquake. Was there an earthquake last night? Did y'all feel that? Last night? I don't know. I, I've been sleeping through all of them. Yeah, I sleep Man, I moment. woke up. It was shaking, but I couldn't tell if, like, if I was shaking just because yeah. of a nightmare. Or... Well, you had uh, you got the jab. <laughs> and then suddenly. <laughs> yeah, I, know. <laughs> I know. I was like, ah, should have got the ivory mech. Should have got the ivory Yeah, take it from uh, Billy. <laughs> so, yeah, who would be Mormon on our show? Um, <laughs> damn. I think Eric. No, not Eric. Nah, not Eric. No, they, they're not. They they're, not they're not healthy with that. Yeah. Um, I don't know who any of the people are, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just from what you, I guess, probably none of them. Nobody would be uh, yeah. Miss Carr. Miss Carr. <laughs> yeah. Are any of them religious or not are they really? All, they're yeah. all like pretty secular. Yeah. They'll, they'll they don't do, like, never a go to church. church wedding or something. Oh, uh, okay. I yeah. think Chuck Bass, Daddy Bass was. When they got married, it was like oh, yeah, he's kind of gets down. Uh, I think maybe, maybe Vanessa might. Nah, she hates religion. They need God yeah. in their lives. All right, that's yeah. it. Okay, so uh, uh, they just kicked Elon Omar out of the uh, committee, her committee assignment. Yeah, really? So, yeah, yeah. They uh, they go on hand true party line vote. The house is was it everybody or was it it was all Republicans? Oh, um, wow. And no Democrats. So yeah, they kicked her out of the house. No, no, just no, out, no of out, the, out of her she's committee like on assignment. Committee, she's know, on the Foreign thing. Affairs Committee. Oh, okay. yeah. So they just doing payback right now with the, now that yeah. they got in charge. So who should who should are from our show? Should I replace thought we her? won. Uh, no, nah, we lost that. We lost the house. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, Kevin McCarthy's in charge. That's why Nancy Pelosi's not there no more. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I wish Kevin McAllister was in charge. I know. And then, Kevin! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, so my question is, yeah. who from who our show do we her? want to replace Ilhan Homer with on the committees? On I, foreign, I think foreign Roof, Do Roof Dog. Roof, Roof Dog would be good, yeah. yeah. He'll cook, he'll cook yeah. the bolognese. And yeah. I think Dan would be good. He's a smart guy. He knows about history and politics. Well, the one who said, is my mother sick? Is my, like, I yeah, think, Eric, yeah. he'd be good. Yeah, is he'd he be too good. young, though? Can you, how old do you got to be? 
to be um, fifteen. I think he got to be twenty five. Oh yeah, he's maybe? not there yet. But again, I have no idea what I'm talking like, about. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify. All right, that's it for me. That's that it. is the news. Stay that classy, the news. Scott. The news, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to do it for another episode of XOXO Gossip Kings. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. We're wrapping up one more episode of season three. Thank mm. you to our guest, Mr. Scott Ackerman. Scott, tell them what to do yeah. to find you. Um, go to cbbworld.com and uh, a lot of podcasts over there. And we have a book coming out, Comedy Bang Bang, the podcast, the book. Mm. Cool. Um, yeah, so that comes out in April and it's it's really good. I think I think fans of the show I'm really like it. I, th- it. I, I almost think it'll be indecipherable to people who have never heard the show before, but I have seen one advanced review and they... Yeah. They had never listened to it, and it got a, it got a positive oh, review. Oh, that's cool. So, nice. yeah. That's dope. Sick. Yeah. Anything else you got going on? Um, I have a new baby. I have a Nepo baby now. Yeah. And, nice. Um, so you, gonna, you know, you follow her. Follow her. Uh, she has a podcast now. <laughs> um, Gossip Queens. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, where she just reviews this show. Yeah. <laughs> and it does the news. Like, uh, <laughs> and it does the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a huge part yeah. of it. <laughs> Cannot leave that out. Uh, uh, that's, that's great. Dope. That's good. You heard him. You heard it here first, folks. Scott Ackerman was our guest today. Go to cbbworld.com. Sign up for everything. Pay ye the money. I need it. Speaking yeah. of which, that mm. serious XM thing doesn't load up. We'll talk about it after. I don't um, care. <laughs> yeah, we're going. To, we're coming to Portland, everybody. Yes, we're, we're going to perform out there. Oh, when? Uh, Saturday night, February eighteenth. Yeah. Eighteenth. I'm busy. Oh, oh yeah, you, you gonna be busy. Gonna so be I can't, I can't be your guest. But you will I'm be sorry. important. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll be there. Okay, I'm next yeah. door. I, <laughs> so if you like us and you like improv, you'll like this. It's a it's two some, of the best improvisers in the world, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sitting in between them right now. Thank you, uh, Shelly. You got anything on plug? <laughs> Shelly Miscavige. She like, <laughs> she's been sitting there in the I'm corner. I'm here, help me. <laughs> yeah, he's like I'm here to help. Uh, oh wow. Anything else, Carl? Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the date of um, our. Uh, Whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the it? Grand Crew comes out. Uh, on the 3rd. On the 3rd of March, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Friday, that's really soon. Friday, uh, March 3rd on NBC, and you can watch it on Peacock as well. There you go. Yeah. Um, that's a good oh, yeah. show. So you told me you watch Yellowstone? Yeah, I, well, here's what happened. I had the baby, mm-hmm. and I was outside the delivery room because it was surrogate, and there were only yeah. two people allowed in there. And Kulop Calton said, she's here, and I said, mm-hmm. honey. I have to go watch Yellowstone. I'm a father now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it's uh, TV for dads by dads. Yeah, yeah. It's and so very... I watched all five seasons and then I met my baby. It's very fatherly. I, <laughs> I've been watching it just because I want to be keep talking about it. But yeah. uh, it's like every speech is just like, you don't know what it's like to be a father. It's so, <laughs> it's so macho and yeah. over the top. It's crazy. I miss that though, you know? Yeah. Guys being macho? Yeah. Like, they, like we used to be able to be? Yeah, even though I was, I never was able allowed to be, but I feel <laughs> like I, I miss watching other people do it. Yeah. The historic Alberta house. You found on it? On Saturday night. I forgot what you were looking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Saturday That's what we'll be performing in Portland, Portland Oregon. Oregon. Can we end this? Yeah, we, right. can, end it. we can end it. It's over uh, now. It's over now. Good night. Bye. Good night. That was a HeadGum Podcast.